Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be fun because I've never done something like this, but I am going to be ranking um, romance book tropes in the list like tier thing. This type of video was super popular a few months ago, and so I'm kind of a little late to the game, but it's fine. It's fine. We're still going to do it, and it's still going to be fun. We're just going to hop into it. I just looked up a random ranking romance book tropes. So, yeah let's get into this i don't even know how it looks so it looks like we have a god tier a love a like an eh, and an avoid so we're just gonna hop into it okay so the first one we have here is teacher slash student now i want to put this in a void but then i'm like okay have you read slammed Slammed by colleen hoover was a teacher slash student but it also wasn't I'm just gonna put it in a void because I'm like that's just bad and if I didn't put that in a void I think that would make me a bad person so we're gonna say avoid for that one but if you read if you have read slammed you understand what I'm trying to say that's the only book that I've ever read with that trope next I have fake dating I I haven't like actually read through all of these so I'm afraid I'm gonna put nothing in god tier but fake dating I think goes in love for me because that is one of my favorite tropes because you start fake dating and you're like oh wait am I starting to actually like you I actually just read a fake dating story and it was also kind of a friends to lovers and it was a cheat sheet and it was so good I love the fake dating because they're like oh this is just like it's fake it's fake but then do I actually really love you it's I love 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 it okay next is um sports romance i'm also putting this in love cheat sheet again was a sports romance the romance book club we have why am i forgetting the deal we have so many sports romances i don't know what it is about them if they specifically hockey like the deal series the off campus series love love it okay Forced proximity, I'm putting that in God tier because oh my gosh, forced proximity is the best. I'm thinking specifically A Court of Mist of Fury. Um, that's the only book that's coming to mind, but I know I've read a lot of other books that have forced proximity. Um, I'm thinking Actor Age Eve Brown. That is like kind of, one is kind of forced proximity and it was so good. It's one of my favorite because it, they can't stay away from each other and it's adorable and I love it. So anyways okay bad boy good girl okay i think i'm gonna say uh, i don't know how i feel about this is there a good boy bad girl on here i'm 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 cheating i'm looking because if it was good boy bad girl that would be a love because i'm thinking archer's voice but since it's bad boy good girl i'm just gonna say I'm honestly gonna say eh. Like, it's okay. I feel like it's done so much. Not really feeling it. Mafia Romance. Since I have not read a Mafia Romance, I'm gonna put it on a void just because that doesn't seem like something I would personally like. But also, I'm... I would potentially try it. I just never... Like, I haven't read a book like that, so... Okay, Grumpy Sunshine. I'm putting it in like. No... Okay, I'm trying to think of a Grumpy Sunshine. It Happened One Summer is a Grumpy Sunshine. And I really, really like that one. But, uh, I'm going to just put it in, like, neutral ground. So we're going to put it there. But Grumpy and Sunshine are so cute. Like, I'm, literally, It Happened One Summer is the only thing I can think of. Okay, anyways. Bodyguard Romance. I feel like it's an eh just because I can't think of a book that I've read with that besides the um Danny Brown book I can't remember which one that which one that's called um but there's just kind of fake dating but he was also the bodyguard but he wasn't bodyguarding her he just happened to be a bodyguard so I'm putting it in eh right person wrong time mm, I'm putting it in eh eh only one bed god tier immediately god tier that it goes along with forced proximity perfectly because i love at first sight can't think of a book that's love at first sight cannot um like literally cannot i'm putting it in a void because i don't like that love triangle do not love love triangles do not like them at all but i feel like a lot of books i read include them so i'm gonna put it on eh because like 
I don't know why, but the Selection series pop into my head. I love that series. It is YA, like it's it's a children's book, but it's so good and it has a love triangle in it. So I'm gonna say eh. Single parent, I really like, but it's not like I go out of my way to read books that have a single parent. Reminders of him, single parent, that's really good. But also that, Reminders of him is a different type of single parent book, so. Friends to enemies to lovers, god tier, because what I'm thinking, when I think friends to enemies to lovers, I'm thinking more of like friends to strangers to lovers. So like love in other words, every summer after, god tier, that's amazing, love it. Second chance type of romance. That's what I'm thinking, maybe that's not what it's like meaning, but that's what I'm taking it as, so. Age gap, I'm gonna say eh. Just because I don't think I would be necessarily opposed to it, have not read an age gap romance as far as I can think, besides like a three or four year age gap. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say eh. Accidental pregnancy, absolutely avoid. I hate the pregnancy trope. I hate it. 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 Bully romance, have not read a bully romance apart from Punk 57. And no, we're just gonna say avoid because I don't. I don't see an appeal to it. Brother's best friend, I'm gonna say like. Not that I can think of any books, but I just feel like that's in a good neutral ground. Friends with benefits to lovers. I don't think I've read a book like this, so I'm just gonna put it in like because that seems like something that would be fine. Um, but honestly, yeah. Okay, workplace romance, I'm thinking The Spanish Love Deception, The Hating Game, I think I like those books. and They're not a love for me, so I'm going to put that in the like. Enemies to Lovers, you know where it's going. Got tier. It's going to got tier. Anyways, okay, Strangers to Lovers, isn't that just any typical romance? Like? I don't... <laughs> No, childhood friends to lovers god tier again that one is god tier slow burns that is going in love because i love a slow burn most times because i want to i want to hear like i want to see the longing gazes and like things like that six of crows duology that's not a romance book but it has a romance in it and that is a slow burn and that's what i like one of us is famous. I'm gonna say this is a like for me. It, it does it sometimes, it doesn't do it the other time, so. I hate everyone in the world but you that's going in love. Love that, I love it. Right person, not enough time? Are you kidding me? I hate the death trope. I immediately go into a void. If I know someone dies, I'm not gonna read the book. I'm thinking me before you, one day in December. Or not one day in December. Always in December. No, get that away from me. Bye. Friends to lovers, that's a god tier for me. That is a god tier. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Good boy, bad girl. I don't know how I missed that. Did that just appear randomly? That is a god tier for me. God tier, okay. Okay, we have our god tier, or sorry. We have our little list and I'm feeling very happy with it. Um, yeah, God tier, I have forced proximity, only one bed, friends to enemies to lovers, enemies to lovers, childhood friends to lovers, friends to lovers, good boy, bad girl. If you can't tell, I feel like there's a theme there. For my love, I have fake dating, sports romance, slow burns, I hate everyone in the world but you. For my like, I have grumpy sunshine, single parent, brother's best friend, friends with benefits to lovers, workplace romance, strangers to lovers, one of us is famous. For my eh, I have bad boy, good girl, bodyguard, romance, right person, wrong time, love triangle, and age gap. And then for my absolute avoids, I have the teacher student, mafia romance, love at first sight, accidental pregnancy, bully romance, and then right person, not enough time. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, after looking at it a second time, I feel like I would maybe move grumpy and sunshine to love. I feel like that's a little bit more accurate, but yeah, that is my little ranking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know if I should do another one. I know this trend has kind of surpassed its time, but I still just wanted to go ahead and do it because I think it's kind of fun. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know what, what, what would your God tier tropes be, and I will talk to you guys next time.